So as we know, um, John Jones has recently uh, slipped from the pound for pound ratings. There was a time when he was a number one pound for pound fighter um, in the UFC, but now he's gone to number seven, and I think um, uh, fighters ahead of him. Um, there's some great fighters ahead of him, but it's a massive fall from grace uh, from going from the number one pound for pound fighter in the planet to getting to number seven. And to be fair, to some extent. Um, the sport is a what have you done for me lately type of sport like uh, recency bias does matter in a sport like uh, the UFC like the MMA the MMA landscape is, is is manipulated by what you've done lately so for my um, example I don't think it's too bad of a stretch that he's number 7 but I think there's, there's a big reason why the UFC has done this and the reason is is because obviously he's going to come back recently and there's been talks about him fighting Stipe now the fact is um when he does come back eventually let's say he gets a fight against Nganu, they want to make his market v value a lot lower and the way to do that is to decrease him on the pound for pound status like don't make him number one pound for pound make him like number seven or number eight or something lower than that um to uh, dis decrease his market value the ufc d does do this a lot of times they try to uh, downplay their own talent sometimes um, if, if it helps them in terms of negotiating a certain pay that their that their um, that their talent will get so yeah it's just interesting like uh, at one point he was the number one pound for pound fighter on the planet I mean, his resume is it speaks for itself and he, he was incredible um, but then now because of all of his inactivity all the scandals outside of the ring or outside of the octagon all the crazy sca um, stuff that he's been involved with, the drug tests, um, he's now fallen to seven. Now, it's not my position to say whether he deserves that, but in terms of recency bias, he's not fought in like two, three years. So from that perspective, you can see that he does deserve it. But I just think this is a plan for the UFC to uh, negotiate and uh, give him less than he's worth in the negotiation table because he is that far down on the pound for pound table so yeah this is just my opinion about this uh, tell me your opinion what's your opinion about this what do you think about uh where do you think uh, john jones should be ranked pound for pound i think um i think he should be top five but not lower than top lower than top five so he should not be six or seven in my opinion this is like one of the greatest fights of all time but yeah that's just my opinion obviously other fighters have overtaken him on that pound for pound ranking obviously the, it was notable when khabib was the number one pound for pound after he beat justin gaethje it was notable when uh israel adesanya was ahead of him as well so yeah that's just my opinion i just think um uh, John Jones needs to come back and he needs to dominate and show the world why he is seen as one of the greatest of all time um, obviously his resume speaks enough for that but I just think he needs to come back and show at heavyweight what he can do and I'm very much looking forward to that if he gets a fight against Stipe that will be quite interesting so yeah that's just my opinion tell me your opinion below and uh, like and subscribe to the channel I've got a lot more content coming your way peace